The big boys came to play on day two of the Josh Palmer Classic with all four quarterfinals from the boys national division taking place at Elmira High School today. The action was so good that Syracuse men's basketball royalty was in the house to take it all in. Jerry McNamara, current SU assistant in the building to watch Mars player Robbie Carmody as his team took on Horseheads and right off the bat Carmody put on a show. Early first quarter gets the bucket and the foul. Then few possessions later, the 6'4 junior turning defense into offense, makes the steal, then waltzes down the court for two. Mars led by seven after one quarter. But Horseheads would battle to keep it close. Second quarter now, Nick Juwan takes the pass, knocks down the three. Still, Blue Raiders trailed 27 to 17 at the half. In the third quarter though, Horseheads would go on a little run. Tic-tac-toe passing leads to a layup for Nate Nalbeck. Blue Raiders within six, but they wouldn't get much closer. Still in the third, Robbie Carmody driving this time, and this time he plays facilitator. Kicks to Ben Lewis. Lewis splashes in the three. Mars pulling away a little at this point. Now in the fourth, Mars up big. More Carmody. This time he's going end to end. Makes the steal. Finishes with the easy slam. The four star recruit from the Pittsburgh area scored a game high 25. Mars beats Horseheads 53 to 38. Earlier in the evening, Mount St. Michael from the Bronx. They took on Strong Vincent from Erie, Pennsylvania. We picked this one up late fourth quarter. Strong Vincent down six, less than two to play. Aji Gore hits the big three-pointer. That makes it a one-possession game. But the Colonels, they would get no closer. Mike Cross for Mount St. Michael catches this one in the corner. He nails the dagger three-pointer. That seals the deal in this game. Strong Vincent would have some desperation attempts late. David Morris. Splits two defenders here, pretty nifty, but his shot doesn't go. Mount St. Michael beats Strong Vincent 75 to 69, but even though David Morris didn't make that shot, he made a whole lot of other ones. The 6'1 senior who is committed to Tennessee State scored 48, yeah, 48 points in this game. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at that. Morris finishes with 48, as I said, which by the way, Josh Palmer Classic tournament record. He shot 11 of 16 from behind the arc. That's 11 made three-pointers in one game. That's good for a 69% shooting percentage from three. An absolutely amazing performance on the night for him. Now for the final game of the night in front of a packed house. It was Elmira on their home court against the Park School from Buffalo. We begin first quarter. You gotta love this one. Noah Hutchins takes it and slams it home. And Hutchins is only six feet tall. Kids got some hops, but Elmira hung right with the Pioneers in the early going. Dan Fedor, he gets the block here. Then it's Quentin Ellis on the move. Fast break and he finds Nodger Mack, who takes one dribble, buries this three. Express up by two in the first quarter. And threes were what kept the Express alive in this game. This time it's Quentin Ellis. He finds Luke Baldwin and Baldwin, he swishes one home here. Express expanding that lead, now up by five. And as we just talked about, Quentin Ellis he was making plays all night. This time he sees the open shot for himself. He puts that one home. Elmira had the surprising 19 to 15 lead at the end of the first quarter. But after that, the Pioneers got rolling. Second quarter, Daniel Scott steps into the lane, takes off and lands the one-handed jam. Just like that, we're tied at 23 all. And unfortunately for the home fans, in the second half, it was all Pioneers. Joseph Jones, the third, swats that one into the stands. The Express put up a fight, but the Park School takes this one, 74 to 59. In the other, in the one other rather boys national division game we did not show you tonight, Mount Carmel beat Canisius by the final of 55 to 44. And earlier in the day during the boys regional play, regional division two play, Newfield topped Troy 50 to 45 while North Penn Mansfield edged Edison 67 to 60. And taking a look at what games will be going on tomorrow, we'll focus on the winners bracket in both the boys and girls national divisions. In the girls' semifinals, Horseheads will take on North Rockland from Southern New York, while Elmira will face off with Seton Catholic. And over on the boys' side in the semifinals, Mount Carmel will do battle with Mars, while Mount St. Michael will have a showdown with the Park School.